Off the top at six tonight, family tragedy. A mother murdered inside her home and now her 13 year old son is in custody. That teen calling police to say he stabbed and killed his own mother. The victim's two week old baby was sleeping in the same room when the murder happened. Let's get right to local tennis Leanne Woody Hong live in Hialeah with the heartbreaking details. Leanne. And that victim shared the apartment with her 13 year old son, that newborn, as well as her husband, who police tell us is a truck driver and was out of state when all of this happened. He and other family members have arrived here to the apartment, some of them inside of the apartment where this gruesome crime unfolded. Cell phone video shows the moment a teenage boy surrendered with his hands up. Just minutes earlier, police say he called 911 and confessed to killing his mother. His demeanor, he was very quiet, apolog apologetic, um, very uh, respectful. Not what you would expect uh, walking into that home and seeing that crime scene. Derek Rosa. The 13 year old identified as Derek Rosa is currently in secure detention. We're announcing our intent to pursue the case to a grand jury. Police say the boy called 911 around 1130 Thursday night and said he just killed his mother, identified by police as 39 year old Arena Garcia. When officers arrived to Unit 201 inside the Amelia Oaks apartment complex, they found the victim in her bedroom with multiple stab wounds, just inches from her newborn baby girl. Next to her was a crib, and inside of that crib, a 14-day-old baby that fortunately was not injured. This neighbor says he was shocked by the news and saw the boy as quiet and helpful to his mother. Family members arrived Friday and were seen entering the apartment. Police described Rosa as an honor student with no prior known mental health issues or run-ins with police, adding a layer of mystery to this family tragedy. He did not provide any information as to why he did what he did. We have a 14 day old baby without a mother, a man without a wife and uh, family has been torn apart. And we're told that that two week old baby is now in the custody of her maternal grandmother. Now that dad is back, it's unclear whether DCF will get involved, whether there will be a hearing to put that baby into the father's custody. At this point, we know that there will be another court hearing for that 13 year old in 21 days. Reporting live in Hialeah, Leanne Morejo, Local 10 News. Simply unimaginable. Thank you, Leanne.